Today, we're going to talk about Nice, France. Despite being known as the city of love, Paris is not the only romantic destination in France. Nice is a stunning, romantic, and underappreciated city of France. In addition to its beauty, Nice offers a variety of undiscovered wonders, amazing adventures, and unforgettable memories. The 19th century mansions on Nice's promenades and boulevards, the city's Italianate old quarter, and the untamed natural terrain that offers countless breathtaking vantage points are all sources of the city's beauty. The landscape has long been beloved by artists, made even more lovely by the distinctive light. With museums devoted to Chagall and Matisse, Nice is currently one of the top destinations in Europe for art galleries. You can create a very special place by combining excellent cuisine, a wonderful climate, and a healthy dose of Riviera glitz. It's a place that should be on everyone's bucket list when they visit France. So let's have a look at the top five things that you can do in Nice. Number five. Visit Cours Saleya Market. In the center of Nice's old town, the Cours Saleya Market is constantly bustling with activities. Its center is covered in striped awnings, which provide cover for the goods sold at the open air market. Locals and visitors alike come in large numbers to shop or occasionally just to gaze at the vibrant displays and take pictures. Everyone seems to be in a good mood thanks to the aroma of fresh flowers, and the ambiance is welcoming. Cours Saleya organizes four markets throughout the week. The Marquet à Fleur, or Flower Market, which runs from Tuesday through Sunday, is the most well-known. Although it is actually a combination of the fruit, vegetable, and the flower market, the term Marquet à Fleurs is frequently used to refer to the entire establishment. The majority of the market today is made up of colorful fruit and vegetables that are frequently presented quite artistically. With samples, the vendors entice onlookers. Naturally, it works, too. How could you resist taking a piece of melt-in-your-mouth melon home to enjoy later? The vendors are always happy to offer suggestions on how to prepare or serve an item if you need them. Along with the mouth-watering fresh produce, you can also buy items like spices, olives, honey, soaps, and other things. The only day that flowers and food aren't available in Corsalea is Monday. On that particular day, there is an antiques and flea market. Everything from furniture to jewelry to books to vintage clothing to bric-a-brac can be found here. Always bring an extra bag because you will definitely end up buying more than you anticipated. Number four, the old town Vielle Ville's charm. The old town of Nice, also known as Old Nice, is located directly beneath Castle Hill. Since the river has been flowing through the city in an underground channel since 1972, it borders the Promenade des Anglais to the south and the Palione River to the north. It is a maze of alleys lined with neighborhood shops and eateries, darkened by high apartment buildings painted in outre and dominated to the east by the Colonne des Châteaux. The squares, which are frequently active until early hours, are flooded with glaciers, creperies, and cafes. The architecture and surroundings have a distinctively Italian feel to them, which is no accident, given that Nice wasn't made a part of France until the Treaty of Turin in 1860. You cannot afford to miss some of the additional attractions while strolling through old Nice's old town. The colorful dome of the Cathedral of St. Reparta is clearly visible from Castle Hill. The main altar of this 17th century cathedral houses a reliquary containing the remains of Saint Reparta, the patron saint of Nice, and the entire structure is, of course, lavishly decorated. Going there is worthwhile just to see the dome and all the side altars. Place Rossetti is a modest but lovely square where Nice Cathedral stands. The stunning false gate, La Porte Fayouse, 
accesses the more modern section of the city. The ceiling of the marble-lined passage appears to have real gold decorations. Everything is worth purchasing here, including handmade jewelry, cosmetics, and Provenco spices. You will also come across a number of other stunning churches and city squares while exploring the area. It will take you two to three hours or more to completely explore the old town. If you don't have this much time, it is still worthwhile to take a walk for at least an hour, which is just long enough to explore some of its amazing corners and soak up the atmosphere of this incredible place. Simply enter and allow the past, which is very still much present here, to sway itself around you. Number 3. Dining Experience in Nice Nice is a city known for its warmth, vibrancy, and a unique style of cooking. There are a few regional dishes you must try before leaving Nice, because this one city has made significant culinary contributions to French cuisine. The most obvious choice to start with is Salade Niques. It features a hard-boiled egg, green beans, anchovies, tomatoes, and caletier olives, and pairs beautifully with Belay or Bandol Rosé wines. Soka, a type of flatbread slash pancake hybrid made with chickpea flour and sold by street vendors in the Old Quarter. This region of the world is also the origin of the well-known vegetable stew ratatouille, which is made with tomatoes, peppers, corgays, and aubergines. Additionally, there is Dab Niquise, bogas bread and onion tart, a braised beef stew with bacon, tomatoes, and red wine. Few cities have such a wide range of culinary offerings. Even in the plates, Nice has managed to preserve and develop its culture, much to the delight of foodies. Nice's cuisine is influenced by both French and Mediterranean ingredients, such as fresh vegetables like zucchini, eggplant, and Swiss chard. It is what distinguishes the cuisine of Nice from the rest. Definitely a treat. Number 2. Art Museums Expedition The museums in Nice are especially good at teleporting visitors into the worlds of influential modern artists. Whether it be through French avant-garde contemporary artworks or iconic American pop art pieces, these museums and galleries in Nice will help you explore everything from photography to archaeology. Art is not the only subject covered by the city's diverse museum scene. Best for modern and contemporary art is the Mamak. Visit the Musée d'Art Moderne at d'Art Comportorian to immerse yourself in the worlds of Yes Klein, Nicky de saint Palais, and other significant avant-garde artists from the École de Nice, Mamak. Nice's most renowned modern art museum has its wings on two floors in a striking cutting-edge building and features classic pop art and new realism works by well-known American and European artists. Regular contemporary art exhibitions take place here, including on the rooftop terrace, which offers breathtaking views of the city. The Musée Matisse is the place to go for the artwork by one of France's most well-known artists. Henri Matisse, one of France's most renowned painters, spent almost 40 years residing in Nice. At the Musée Matisse in Simmes, take in one of the largest collections of his work in existence, which includes paintings, drawings, sculptures, and paper cutouts. This world-class museum is located across the street from the Matrice Notre Dame de Simmes, where Matisse is laid to rest, in a stunning red ochre Genoese villa from the 17th century that is surrounded by olive trees. The Palais Las Carices is ideal for those who enjoy art and music. The unassuming Palais Las Carices is tucked away on a charming narrow street in the old town and is a sight to behold once you enter its 17th century walls. You must see this Baroque palace immediately. These are only a few museums out of plenty of amazing museums here. 
Your art-starving mind will be well-fed while on this art museum exploration expedition. Number 1. Promenade des Anglias The Promenade des Anglias, the English walkway, a very wide boardwalk that runs directly along the Mediterranean, is Nice's most well-known landmark and crown jewel. It stretches for miles and provides access to beautiful but rocky beaches. The English aristocrats who traveled to Nice in the 18th century to benefit from the favorable climate gave the city its name. Because the shoreline was irregular at the time and the lords and their wives wanted to be able to stroll comfortably, a seaside promenade was constructed with the hands and finances of the English people. The English names of the hotels, like Westminster and West End, are still a testament to the islanders' influence on this location. People can be seen running, walking, biking, rollerblading, and the best of all pastimes, people watching along the path. The promenade curves for seven kilometers and is bordered by opulent 19th century palaces on its eastern side. On the benches, you can relax in the shade provided by the palm trees and pergolas. Numerous events are also held on the Promenade des Anglias. Sporting events, exhibitions, and meetings take place here as well as a portion of the well-known Nice Carnival. A lot of interesting locations and Nice's attractions are accessible from the promenade. Beautiful parks, museums, chic beaches, plush hotels, and casinos are what you'd pretty much find here. The Le Nagresco Hotel, where Michael Jackson has stayed, is among the priciest hotels here. Castle Hill and Nice's Old Town are both accessible from the Promenade des Anglias. The Maserna Museum, which is located on a stunning villa with a stunning garden, is on the other side of the road. Further on, you'll find the Nice Museum of Fine Arts. And of course, the airport. The majority of aircraft arrive to land just above the Bay of Angels during the peak season, which ensures additional interesting sights for people relaxing nearby. Emirates planes fly especially close to the ground. There is a lot to do and a lot to explore here. What's not to love here? But don't assume that everything is outrageously expensive here. You might be surprised by some of the deals that are hiding out here. You're going to have a great time in either case with its amazing climate, vibrant markets, and abundance of art. How nice do you find Nice? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, where to next?